just as sophisticated. Ah! You son of a bitch! Easy, Jens. Think of private affairs. Raise that arm. I'll kill you! I don't want to have Eugene, you. Very cosmopolitan. I know him. It's Creek Johnson. Wyatt? Doc? Jack? How's it going, Radical viewers? Grim Gaddy, right back into another Legends of the West video. And today our winner comes from Dova King and their request for Texas Jack Vermillion from Tombstone. Which, oddly enough, suddenly told me that uh, I didn't actually own Tombstone like I thought I did. So I literally just went out and bought the damn movie and uh, did a quick couple of screen caps just so I can get this outfit down. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm slightly proud with how this turned out given what's available to me though some pieces here and there are hit and miss anyway without further ado let's go ahead and break down this outfit piece by piece shall we starting off as I always do with the hat and a few options actually because uh, there were a few open to me that I was kind of toying with here and there and ultimately didn't really settle on one grand example the Wallingford hat, coming from the Wallingford collector outfit itself. It, my only complaint about this is that that upturned brim is on the wrong side. But beyond that, honestly, I really like this. That and the color's a little off. That said, if you don't want to spend buku money on an entire outfit just for a hat, there actually is a far simpler selection for those that don't want to sit there and throw way too much money <laughs> just for to look like a character from Tombstone. I can find the damn thing. Oh, there it is. The military slouch hat, which does have the upturned brim exactly where I need it. Comes in a color pretty close to what I want to go with. The band is off, but beyond that and the brim being a little too small, this is uh, this is actually pretty spot on. And I appreciate that a lot. No headbands, no eyewear, no mask, no bandanas, but we do have some neckwear. Now, while you can kind of play around a little bit with some of the scarf options and all that, ultimately I ended up setting, eh, settling on just the base neckerchief and kind of a more purple slash blue color, because he's actually kind of wearing a very weirdly designed one throughout the movie. That's it, just because I happen to be here and I can actually sort through these, you can also, by all means, go through some of the bandana options. I mean, here, the pattern bandana actually also sells the look just in its basic blue version here. So by all means, play around with some of the features. You might find something better than I suggest. In which case, kudos to you. Beyond that, though, no other neckwear. No coats with this outfit, weirdly enough. No ponchos. For the vest, I threw on the double-breasted lapel vest, and I literally did this just because of how big the lapels are for this outfit, and it actually works really well for it. My only complaint is it doesn't come in a slightly darker shade of gray, which really would have helped sell this a little bit better, but it works for what it does. Moving on to shirts, we actually, strangely enough, had the exact shirt I needed for this ensemble. Most of you probably recognize the rather gay as a Stringham shirt. As for what color, uh, that's up to you. Depending on which version of the movie you're watching, VHS or HD through YouTube or on DVD or what have you, it actually kind of looks like either a very light cream or just a dirty white color. It, it's strange. I'm literally looking at it right now, and frankly, yeah, it looks way different from what I remember as a kid. So experiment and choose what works best for you. Other than that, no suspenders for this outfit, no gauntlets, no gloves, no rings, no belts per se, buckles, completely dealer's choice. Weapon equipment, I have a suggestion, which is rare for some of these videos. A sharpshooter gun belt, mostly because his holster on his gun belt is studded to all hell, and weirdly enough, the sharpshooter stuff does come with studs on it, though those are silver on his, and ours don't tend to come in the exact color we need. Does come in the perfect leather color we need, though. Same with the offhand, as always. Always try to match your offhand with your main hand holster. 
Moving on to pants. Now I'm going with the actual eh, actual intro scene we're introduced to. Good old Texas Jack here, where he's actually being reintroduced, basically to Wyatt, Doc, and all of them out in the street after a bit of a problem during a bar that escalated outside, and some poor bastard got shot. <laughs> The Bandito Pants sold that look to me very well in this more dirty brown color. Like, these these look perfect for what I'm staring at right now. I love it. No nightgowns, still weirded out by the fact that's even in here. No overalls, no chaps. Finally, for boots, this I got tripped up on a little bit just because I had a few options to be. Example, the cavalry boots, they fit the overall shape perfectly. They just don't come in a color I really needed because the two-tone thing throws it off a lot, hence why I'm not suggesting it right out of the gate. But by all means, glance through it and see if you can find something that you don't mind that much. No, instead I end up selling on the Burnham boots because one, while they do not come in the shape I needed, they do come in the exact color I needed and they do have a star design right there on the front of the shin, though it's hard to make out. But it's definitely there and he does have that on his boots. Weird how that works out. Finally, spurs. I mean, classic Western rider spurs. What, what else am I going to suggest? They're the classic cowboy spurs for a reason. And of course, try to get the color to match the boots, because uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm sitting here watching this clip again. It's muted, but I'm watching it again. I almost couldn't tell he was wearing the damn things, because they blended so well into his boots, and the spurs were actually really tiny. Uh, yeah, that all said, though, that's it. Oh, that is not all it. I am sorry. I am wrong. There is one other thing. One final thing I completely forgot because it's something that usually doesn't come up because why the hell would it? He actually has this little pouch on his gun belt literally right here just in front of the right thigh if you have the gable charm or something similar to that by all means throw that on because that only helps the look even further i literally forgot about that because again i don't include that in my videos because usually there's no need to anyway that's it for this video and usual eh, as usual i cannot english today I hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did enjoy, a great way of showing that support, as always, is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, sharing it with your friends. And as usual, checking down below in the guidelines, eh, checking down below in the description for the guidelines of how to submit your own request in the comments, where you might be next week's winner, where hopefully next week I know proper English again and I don't stumble all over my words like I haven't slept in three days. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Once again, thank you all for watching. And as usual, cheers to those that love us, the losers that lost us, and as always, the lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we'll catch you all in the next video. See you then. And now the fun part where I go and actually record the damn clip I need for this because I own the movie now. And pray to God that I don't get slapped with another copyright claim over it like I did the few last times I've done this.